Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a hair tutorial on how to achieve an everyday beachy waves look. So if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is to spray my hair with a heat protector spray. I think it's really important when you use any form of heat on your hair, whether that's a hair dryer, which I don't tend to use, or if you use straighteners or curlers, like any type of heat on your hair, I think you should always use a heat protector spray just beforehand. This one is just from Wella, and what I do is I spray it all around my hair just to protect it from any damage that the heat may cause from different heat products. So once I've applied the heat protector spray, I just go around and brush my hair, just to make sure that I don't have any knots before I start curling, because that is just not gonna achieve a good look quite easy just to brush the product through. Once I've brushed all of that through, I then just flick all the hair to the back and then I will start sectioning it off. This bit I think is really important because it allows you to work quite easily with all of your hair and it means that you don't miss out on any parts. So I'll take about like a third at a time. This is just like the bottom layer and then I'll section it off again. Then once I've done that, I'm just gonna split the section from the bottom and I'm just gonna bring an even amount over each side of my head. So to achieve this look, I'm gonna be using a styling wand. This one is just from Amazon. I'm not sure what brand it is, but I will put it in the description box below so you guys can check it out for yourself. And it also comes with four other attachments as well. So ranging from small to large, and then the one that's attached is the biggest. And you can use different sizes depending on what kind of look that you wanna go for. So once I've put the heat protector spray on, and then I've brushed it through and sectioned off my hair, I'm gonna go in with the first section, and I'm gonna split it again. You always want the one to face downwards. So I'm just gonna grab this bit of hair, I'll put it down, and I'm gonna wrap the hair towards the back, as so. And I do have a mirror in front of me, so I'm just gonna be looking at that as well. You just wanna hold it for about 15 seconds or so. I mean, it, you'll get a feel for your own hair, but for me, I have very fine hair, so I'd say about 15 seconds is about right for me. And then you just let it go, and then put it to the back and then you just work on the next section. So whereas before I had the barrel facing down and I put the hair towards the back, this time I'm gonna put the barrel in front like this and I'm gonna bring the hair towards the face. And as you can see, it's just a very, very loose wave like this. And then I'm gonna go and do the exact same thing on this side as well. I find that when you're doing the bottom layer, it doesn't have to be completely perfect because it is the bottom and it's just to add that little bit of volume. So I'm not too worried about the bottom part, but I am gonna focus a little bit more each layer up that I go. Then once I've done the bottom layer, I'm just gonna undo the section that I tied up. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it again. So leaving a little bit at the top for right at the end. Okay, so now I've got the second section down. I'm just gonna split it again at the back. So I'm gonna do exactly what I did on that first layer, but I'm gonna hold it for about another five seconds longer this time, just for an even tighter wave. Another useful tip is to separate the bits that you haven't yet done with the bits that you have. I'm just gonna push the bits that I have done to the back of my head, and then leave the bits that I haven't done at the front so I know what I'm working with. Then I'm just gonna section it off again. Take it into small sections, and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing again. And I'm gonna put the hair away. So I'll push it sort of towards the back and outwards, like so. You also wanna try and keep the hair as flat as possible on the barrel, and that'll just make it look a little bit better. And then you release, and then you just go to the next section, remembering to alternate the way that you twist the hair around. So you just wanna bring it in, like so. It's so, so hot. Whew. Why did I choose to do this tutorial in the summer? And I'm just gonna run my hand through those curls just to loosen up the weights a little bit. So then once you've done that second section, it's time to move on to the last little bit. I have the center parting, which is how I keep my hair most of the time anyway. That's just how it naturally falls. I'm going to do the same as what I did last time and I'm just going to put all the bits that I have done to the back of my head. So now I've sectioned that last little bit off, I'm just going to do exactly the same on this part of the hair as well. So 
So for this last little section at the front, I think it always looks better when the hair falls away from the face. So what I'm going to do for this front bit is I'm going to put the barrel behind the hair. And I'm just going to hold it like that. And then you do the same on this side as well. So as you can see at the bottom of my hair, I am leaving about an inch to an inch and a half. This is what separates it from being a curl and a wave. So it's really, really important just to leave that little bit at the end of the hair free from the barrel. And then I'm on this last section towards the face. So like I did with the other side, I'm just going to put the hair away from the face. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hairspray on my hair. This one is from Wella, and I'm just going to go all over with this. And the last thing that I'm really going to do is I'm just going to go through and brush the waves through. So that they're not as curly, and that's kind of what makes the beachy waves rather than curls. And I'm using a really small hairbrush because I think you get more control over the hair when you use a little brush rather than a bigger brush. So you can use any brush that you like. And then just shake it all out. So this is the final look that I achieved. As you can see, there wasn't really much to this tutorial. It was quite simple. I hope you found it easy enough to follow. What you really need to do is just to remember to use a wide barrel and just alternate the hair and how you twist it around. Do some towards the front and then some towards the back just to mix it up a bit and it gives you that beachy waves look. And it just gives your hair that little bit more texture, a little bit more volume. And for someone like me who has really fine hair, a style like this can make such a difference and it doesn't take long at all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and also don't forget to subscribe as well. And while we're on the subject of subscribers, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you who subscribe to my channel. Since uploading my previous video, we have now reached over 100 subscribers. To some people that might not be a lot, but to me that means the absolute world. So thank you all so, so much for subscribing to my channel. I really hope you stick around and enjoy my content. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.